everyone. Welcome to my channel, Neuroscience for Everyone. My name is Dr. Esiosa Igudaro, and I am a brain doctor, aka neurology resident, and a brain scientist, aka neuroscientist. And in this video, I will be revealing the image I posted on my social media page, so I'm glad you guys are tuning in. And so this series, the reason why I started this series is because I wanted to help uh, educate the public about all things neuroscience and, you know, as a scientist and a physician, I thought what better way to do that than through images. So that's what we're going to be discussing later on in this video. So the moment you've all been waiting for, so what is this image? Well, let's talk about some of the things you guys thought it was. Some people thought it was Alzheimer's disease. Some people thought it was emulated plaques or tangles. Others thought it was a picture of a neuron or microglia. So let's hear one individual who got the answer correct. Hi, my name's Victoria and I got the answer right uh, for the histology picture a couple weeks ago. So I guessed that it was an artery and I knew this because I had taken a histology course in my undergraduate degree and we were always taught that when you're looking at blood vessels you can recognize arteries because of their smooth muscle layer which you don't see in veins and this is because arteries need that extra muscle to push blood through the body. Thank you Victoria for your answer and thank you for sharing it with us. So yes, she is correct. It is a blood vessel. It actually is an arterial. In the next few slides, I will be discussing what a blood vessel looks like underneath the microscope from a human brain. On the screen left is an image of a blood vessel with the green arrows indicating the blood vessel wall and highlighted in the enclosed navy blue circle is the blood vessel. The outer region are the glial cells of the white matter and know that the human brain has both gray matter and white matter. White matter contains glial cells and axons of the neuron whereas the gray matter contains the cell bodies of neurons and other glial tissue. Now with this blood vessel, you have the blood vessel wall and then inside the blood vessel wall is where you would see red blood cells that flow through the blood vessel wall and they carry nutrients and oxygen. And the oxygen diffuses through the blood vessel wall into the surrounding tissue to provide nutrients for the glial cells in the white matter. The stain that it was used to stain this human tissue is called a hematoxylin eosin stain and this is a standard stain that is used in neuropathology to stain different kinds of sections of the brain and this is why you see a pink, purple, violet hues on this slide. So this is what a normal blood vessel looks like termed an arterial. If you look to your screen right, you see another blood vessel. And this is what the image challenge was, was this image here. And if you look in the enclosed navy blue circle, you see the blood vessel. But if you compare the blood vessel wall that is indicated by this line to the blood vessel wall on the normal arterial, note that the blood vessel wall on your screen right it's a lot thicker than the blood vessel wall on your screen left, which is here. This is a pathology called brain arteriolosclerosis that is noted at the bottom here that I'm underlining, brain arteriolosclerosis, which is a thickening of the blood vessel wall, and this is an abnormal pathology that is caused by high blood pressure and diabetes and because of this pathology what will happen is nutrients and oxygen have a more difficult time diffusing across the blood vessel wall because it's very thick and therefore the surrounding tissue will not have adequate nutrients and oxygen for 
survival. So you can see that there are some gliosis happening in the outside region of this blood vessel. Also note in this region here there is some inflammation going on because this blood vessel is abnormal and it's not a healthy blood vessel compared to this image on your left. So the image challenge was a blood vessel. It was an arterial and it was indicating an abnormal arterial called arteriosclerosis. And arteriosclerosis can be graded on its severity. This here is what we deem to be a moderate arteriosclerosis. It's graded from mild to severe, this showing moderate. These images come from my published paper in the Journal of Cerebral Blood Flow Metabolism in 2017. The images come from a manuscript titled Risk Factors and Global Cognitive Status Related to Brain Arteriosclerosis in Elderly Individuals. I was the main author of this manuscript that was written during my graduation studies along with Dr. Peter Nelson who was my research mentor. We also have several epidemiologists, neuropathologists, neuroscientists who were involved in the study as well. The study took place at the University of Kentucky Sanders Brown Center on Aging. Sanders Brown Center on Aging is known for studying normal aging and dementia. They are funded by the National Institutes of Health for a study where they're able to better understand the causes of dementia in the aging population. The study involves recruiting human participants who have agreed to donate their brain to science and I am very grateful for these individuals because without them we wouldn't be able to study different causes of dementia in the aging brain. I would also like to thank Victoria for giving us her detailed explanation about how she derived at the answer for the image challenge and also would like to thank you guys for giving me your guesses. For those who are interested in further learning more about brain arterial sclerosis, take a look at the link that will be provided below for the full text. If you have further questions about the article after reading, please comment below and I can also do another video to explain in detail the paper if people are interested. So it's a blood vessel. This blood vessel is an arterial and it's termed brain arterial sclerosis. Some of the facts I want you to take away is that this is a brain pathology of the blood vessel with risk factors, high blood pressure, and diabetes. So I hope you tune in for other image challenges that I will be posting on my social media pages. You can follow me on Facebook, on Twitter, I'm also on Instagram, and feel free to post below, ask questions, and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Take care of yourself and each other, and I will see you at the next image challenge. Bye.